Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to Red 5 Reviews. As promised today, we are going to do something a little different and review a non-Star Wars book. Now you guys have voted and you would like to hear a book review of an Indiana Jones novel. And today we're going to look at Indiana Jones and the Peril at Delphi by Rob McGregor. This is book one in this particular Indiana Jones book series. It was originally published by Bantam in two, uh, 1991 and reprinted in 2008. Now, for me, this is technically a re-review, as I have uh, reviewed this book a couple of years back on my first channel, and it's actually one of my more higher view videos on that channel. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and do something, again, a little bit different, and I'm going to read you guys part of the plot synopsis on the back of the book before I give you my overall thoughts. So here we go. For 16 centuries, the Order of Pythia has awaited the reappearance of the ancient oracle of sacred knowledge at Delphi. An earthquake rending the earth beneath the ruins has now heralded her return. Dorian Belcamus, a beautiful and bewitching archaeology professor, sees an opportunity to do more than dig into the past. This is her chance to seize control of her country's future by becoming the Oracle of Delphi. And now she's found just the man to help her consummate her scheme. He's brash, he's reckless, and he's fallen under her spell. His name, Indiana Jones. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm now going to go ahead and give you my thoughts. This is going to be a spoiler-free review. Now let's do this. If you followed my first channel when I reviewed this a couple of years back, then you may already know that this book just didn't do it for me. And to be honest, it still doesn't. For a book that started off its own quote-unquote expanded universe novel series, I didn't feel like it was a very strong beginning. I'm not going to say this book is terrible because it's not. I thought the first few chapters were pretty compelling, and it did draw me into the story at first. But after the first few chapters, the book slowly and slowly began to lose me, until the ending, when it starts to pick up again. I did enjoy reading about Indy in a point of time that was a little unfamiliar to us, where at the beginning of the book we see him as a linguistic student who is unsure of his career path, and we briefly here and there get a little more insight into his relationship with his father, and what possibly led to some of the tension in their relationship. My friend Jeremy from Stupid Chainsaw Productions had a great note about this book and that you should read this as more like a bridge between the Young Indiana Jones series and the Harrison Ford series. And I agree with that. Especially with some of the events that took place, this book felt more like a, it was an ending to one series and transitioning into another series in his life. And that was a good mindset to go into because one of my original flaws was that there was some things that Indy did or some decisions that he made that seemed a little out of character for him. But it was just a reminder that Indy is still young in this book and has not fully transitioned into the Indy from the films that we know and love. Now, I've said it in my first review of this book, and I'll say it again. Just because I found this particular book pretty average and anticlimactic, I'm not deterred in any way to read the remaining books in this series. And personally, I'm glad you guys voted for an Indiana Jones book because it did give me the motivation to revisit this series. So with that said, I'm going to give Indiana Jones and the Peril at Delphi by Rob McGregor 3 out of 5 stars. Again, the book wasn't horrible, I just wasn't impressed by it, but if you're a die-hard Indiana Jones fan, I'd say it's definitely worth a read. I'm fully planning to dive back into this series and do some reviews of the other books, but until then, if you'd like to hear more Indiana Jones reviews, then definitely go check out Jeremy from Stupid Chainsaw Productions and Noah from Quality Autism. Both of them have reviewed several Indiana Jones stories recently. They are great reviews, definitely go check them out. But comment down below what you guys thought about this particular book if you've read it. And thanks so much for checking out this review. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And be sure to stay tuned for my next review coming soon. I decided for a surprise before we get back into Star Wars books, I'd review another classic book that I reread recently that also started a franchise. I won't say what it is, but I will say that for this review, you're definitely going to need a bigger boat. Thanks so much again, guys. And until next time, this is Red 5, standing by.